taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight. You can believe that's what we're about to get. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. His past destroyed. Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker ready to dominate. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Let's Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. And Braun Breaker clearly ready for this one to get underway. One of the more impressive young superstars in the company today. Oh, yeah. Braun Breaker's aptitude at such an early point in his career isn't something that should be understated. Flattening his opponents is written in his DNA. Some could even say he's a genetic freak, and he's not normal when he steps into the world circle. You're right, Byron. Breaker comes into every match with the agenda of decimating his opponents tonight. Should be no different. But across the way is the new and improved Baron Corbin. After many tribulations, Corbin has rediscovered his edge and reforged himself. He's done messing around and demands to be both feared and respected by his fellow superstars. Yeah, Corbin is now a man with a purpose. He's a driven and merciless individual who sees every match as a chance to put his foot down. And a driven Baron Corbin makes for one scary opponent. We see the look in Barrett, and what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Oh, look at that. The cover, shoulders down. Only a one count before the kick out. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook. For and he very quickly counters. He's got him scouted. Oh, bear hugs. The bear hugs cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Six from the lone wolf. And there's the aggression. 
aggressiveness of Corbin. There's the reason for his sinister smile. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the clothesline. Salt to the wound right now. Oh! He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. <laughs> Powerless position to be in right now. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. He returns to the ring. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. The military press into the power slam. And that can vanquish Corbin. And Corbin with a counter. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Over and over, repeated waist lock takedowns. Let's him up down, like being manhandled by a bear. Steer clear of that. Kick to the gut creates seven. Ron Breaker setting him up for the military press. Boom! Military press power slam. Does that pull it out for Breaker? Ron Breaker did it. What a match. Here is your winner. Got to be a tough loss for Baron Corbin tonight. Corbin has to be wondering where he fell short tonight. Some introspection could be good for him, Corey. Uh, ready to go in this match. But this? where where's their opponent? Oh, wait a minute, look out! Oh, look out from behind! Us. From behind, you're right. This competitor had another game plan, completely catching their opponent off guard. Sure, Graves is gonna love this. Of course I am. I love smart competition. That's a cheap and cowardly attack. It's all about getting an advantage, no matter how you do it. So there's the battle. What started with an attack while making their way to the ring is now an official match. Just overexcited for this match, that's all. They couldn't stand to wait until they actually got in the ring. Or it was a calculated plan to get the advantage. Well, I guess we'll just never know. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. The fist has been dropped. And Chase fends him off. <laughs> Section. Boom. Oh, right on the arm. Fist drop. Man. Uh-oh. Oh, right in there. 
look at this, going counter for counter. He eludes the contact. The ring knowledge of Andre Chase has to be something that opponents haven't encountered before. While Chase's know-how is impressive, it hasn't made him unbeatable. Often when you have a mind like Chase, the potential to overthink a situation increases. Stax shows the wherewithal. Apparently, this match needed a mud hole to stomp in every single part of his body. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. That's a cover! And he powers out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, and he had the wherewithal to counter Andre. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Oh, my. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches right. Vicious, aggressive attacks. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Compromised position here. Oh, look at the triple the leg. Oh, what a counter. Takedown. Oh, the helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Goodness gracious. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. I love it. Representing Chase U. And that was just another valuable lesson from Andre Chase. Taking flight. Bang, what a splash. He's looking a little weary now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. This incredibly hostile rivalry has reached levels we don't often see around here. This has been a defining journey for these superstars. They're not the same people they were when this thing started. And there's no telling where it will all end. Big right hand connects. Incoming. Wards that attack off. Double underhook applied. Up and down face first. Andre got it. Can he end it? Oh, he was almost finished. Wait, are we sure that was not a three count? You can't count that high, Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. I can see it in the eyes from here. From the top. What? From ring post to ring side. Risking it all paid off. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. And he tosses him back in now. Oh. Top of the elbow. And they're going shot for shot, low for low. Makes him pay with a counter. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Neither competitor is backing down. Oh, man. He's lining him up. Oh, my God. Wow. Breathtaking. Andre Chase with a oh, hammerlock flatliner from Andre Chase. No way Stacks can come back from that. Chase got it done. Here is your winner, Andre Chase. No shame in losing against underhanded tactics. But it is too bad that we didn't get to see a fair fight here in this match.
a very frustrating way to lose a match after fighting your heart out. Well, sometimes it's just not your day. And after that clever attack earlier, we knew it wasn't theirs. Oh, this is ridiculous. From behind and I'll beat the hell out of them. You had to know this was coming. These two cannot stand each other. There's always a ton of place for everything. This superstar is out of line. Thank goodness for some extra security to separate these two, but the damage has been done, let's be honest. Get them out of here. Get them out of here now. They knew what they were doing. I don't even think this opponent can get into this match. Not at all. This competitor just got ambushed. This isn't right. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. And you know, I just hope we have a clean fight here moving forward. I'm not sure you should get your hopes up. If that starts anything to go by, we are in for a drag-out slugfest here. for that one. Slide Buster! With a sit out. Nasty. Boom! Able to reverse! Leaving himself open here. Angels put a stop to that. Nice drop kick. So much damage inflicted. And we know Angel has a lot of natural ability. What do you think his surest path to victory is? Oh, he's been waiting for him the whole time. And he easily stops the ref's count. Could be in search of a second win now. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. A big kick to the gut. The clubbing forearm. He got whipped into that corner. That didn't go as Joe Pitcher. Oh, a double A face buster. He's turning the tables. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. Now that's what you call impact. Every ounce of the body is a target. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. He's on his heels a bit now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Ah. Across the top rope. longer. Joe looking for the high-risk move. Perched up top. Climbing knee drop. And he goes for the pin. And he kicks out at two. Just barely, but it counts. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Turning the tables there. There's 
a snap mare delivered and goes down low with the drop kick. Carefully placed stump to the arm. Ow! Oh! With a in the cover. No a kick out. Still no end in sight here. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. And a very impressive maneuver from Angel. That Garza instinct jumping out. I'd say he's earned a smooth. Will it be? No kick out of two. He just won't give up. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. An unrelenting assault being brought to Joe Coffey. Angel re Angel, double underhook. Wing clipper into the submission. Ah, uh, he's in complete, co and he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Blast off, misses. He was elusive there. Than ever after that. Yeah, at this point, Angel has to dig down deep if he wants to stay in this. Slide Buster! With a sit out. Nasty. Two! Ah, oh, look who's here on the stage. Some trash talking underway. Are you really that surprised? These two can't stand one another. Looks like this superstar is more than willing to oblige. Oh, here we go. This might blow up before our very eyes. Oh, these two are going to go at it on the stage. Oh, here we go. Shots exchanged. And now we got officials out here trying to break it up. Trying to maintain some sort of order. Good luck with that. So much disdain. Keep these two apart. The gods have spoken, and only she knows what they have to say. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla! Valhalla competed all over the world before coming to WWE, though she has certainly transformed since she returned. All that training, plus her Viking experiences, have made her very dangerous. Bahala has simply become unhinged. There's no telling what she's going to do anymore. Valhalla, who takes her name from the place warriors go when they die. A bad sign for Valhalla's opposition. This ring is about to turn into a battlefield. And Valhalla won't settle for anything short of total decimation.
Tegan Knox looking ready for a fight. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. And her partner from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Tegan showing that she really knows how to get aggressive, vicious even. Yeah, Knox proves the old adage that it's all about the size of the fight in the dog. Knox is ready to beat someone up. Enjoy doing it. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. And we're presenting the Judgment Day from Adelaide, South Australia, Rhea Ripley. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Go get him! The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. Here comes the heart of Chase U. And we're presenting Chase U from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Thea Hale. Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hale wants to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action is now underway. The tag team match is a classic staple of this business. It's the ultimate test of teamwork and in-ring timing. Yeah, for partners to compete at a high level here, they have to form one truly exceptional unit, which is definitely easier said than done. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. She could do it here. She kicks out in one. Still in it. Was coming there. Take it down to the canvas. She's tagged in. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Was ready for that. Oh, what a close line. But Hollow perhaps realizing this won't be the easy hunt she expected. Yeah, now it's about Thea maintaining some of this pressure.
reversal on Valhalla. Gets tagged in. Using their boot. She flips it back on her. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Rest and look at this. And this is just next level brutality. Every strike more devastating than the last. She's got her where she wants her. From way up top and down. She gets the tag. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. each other separate. Wait, wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Uh, I'm not sure she can escape out of this. And yes, she does. Turns the tides. Oh, man. <laughs> the nasty headbutt. That offense taking a toll on her. And that's Tegan's aggression starting to ratchet up. Gets the tag. A big kick to the gut, and a thunderous forearm to follow. Boom! Slam! With authority. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. On the top, double axe handle connects. Uh-oh, look at these repeated strikes. Here we go for the kill shot. Is it enough? The cover! Carefully placed stump. Rear Ripley setting up for a pull. After that, tagging her partner in. Oh, 
Thea Hale whipping the WWE Universe into a frenzy and simultaneously whipping her opponent with a series of stomps. Look at these stomps. Here's the cover for the win. Oh, barely kicks out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Tag is made. What do these two have in store? Flying shoulder block! Oh, fellas, we are looking at a mounted thrashing here. <laughs> All over the place. A oh, big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. My goodness, absolute dominance. Grabs the leg. Just a good old toss for the leg. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Oh, across the top rope. Toss back into the ring. Rhea's taking the advantage here. The Valhalla withstand the surge. Face oh. Buster! That is it. Six. Drawing Seven. dangerously close to a count out here. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. Seen from these women so far. These competitors are redefining, digging deep, and giving your all. She manages to get control. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Valhalla in a state of distress. You're not going to find Rhea showing any remorse. She does so. Oh my God! In off the tag. She saw that one coming. Boots. Nice. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Oh my gosh! What impact! My favorite kind of thrashing, Cole. Oh. It's an Oku driver. And she's in off the tag. One. Two. Just hot shot it to the outside. Right to the kidneys from behind. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. That's how you wear down your opponent. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Over and over. So much aggression. Able to prevent Rhea's attack. Gets the tag. Rhea had that scouted. Dodged right on cue.
A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe is reverberating around us. Absolutely unreal. Yeah. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Yeah. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Disrupt that attack. Oh, she's going for it. This could be. And she fights it off. I'm in shock that she kicked out. You and I both, Byron. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Oh, double knee arm breaker. Thea Hale whipping the WWE Universe into a frenzy and simultaneously whipping her opponent with a series of stomps. Look at these stomps. Thea Hale has the target acquired. The Kimura, the Kimura. Kimura lock cinched in, body wrapped. This There's the save. How close was that? Knox isn't going to like what's about to come her way. Tag is made, and here we go. Chop! Not done just yet. A right, handstand, and what a maneuver we just saw there. But can Valhalla close this? The cover! And they're still... So ruthless. Here's a cover. Could be it. And still in this. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Takes down their opponent. And the hoverboard lock is in. Yeah, and there's the save. She's looking to finally put Valhalla away. The Kimura, the Kimura! Uh, Kimura lock, submission move. Got it. What a tag match we just saw. Here are your winners. The team of Rhea Ripley and Thea Hale. And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. Each of these women could contend for a title alone, but together, they may never lose a match. Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 183 pounds. Wes Lee. Served in the United States Air Force. 
force. Wesley is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. He's a total blow. He's moving at super speed. He is the man called Axiom. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom. Axiom says he wants to be a symbol people can rally behind. Well, he's got the support of much of the WWE Universe already. A superb athlete, Axiom is ready to take his game to the next level. And right any wrongs he encounters along the way. First man up tonight is Wesley, who has really shown his mettle recently, overcoming a lot of personal and professional obstacles. Resilient doesn't even begin to describe him, and that's not to mention what shoulders down. This could be it. Oh, somehow. So resilient. Axiom sensed that was coming. Ooh. Effective arc. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! And easily kicks out of the count. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Great reaction from Wes. Stomp to the arm. And the momentum's clearly against West now. Can West recover from this adversity? In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Hooked up. And DDT. Corey, we know that Axiom has a deep bag of aerial skills that can upset the biggest opponents. How does that impact this match tonight? While his agility is impressive, Cole, Axiom does have a few weaknesses. With his calculating mind, we've seen Axiom overthink during a match, and it's cost him. But what his opponent needs to concentrate on is grounding him. That takes away a much bigger portion of Axiom's offense. Running Hurricane Rana! He can end it here! Kick out. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Uh oh, submission move for Jawarab. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Placing them into the corner and Wes's counter. Pulling across their shoulders into a fireman's carry position down face first. Seamlessly transitioning into the rings of Saturn submission. And watch this. Letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Saving us from having to sit through that. I can't imagine what he has here. Over the top rope. Oh, I don't think he's done. On the move. About to take off. The space. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. 
across the educated hands and feet. Looks like he's got 11 arms and feet. What a double axe handle. Able to avoid any harm there. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh man! Repstel County close to calling it. Hurry back in. He deflects it right back. Boom! A forearm smack. Look out! Suicide dive. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Ooh. Pulls the ripcord. Knee strike to the face. He's starting to struggle here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Canadian destroyer. Wesley looks like he's rocket powered after that move. Just incredible. Wes devising something. Wes with a big time move. Whip back into the ring. Shoulders down. Shoulder, shoulder. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. And now there's an Axio finds the golden ratio. Wes went down in a heap. There's two. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. From the top. with the victory. Speed kills. Axiom able to seize the moment and ascend to victory. Axiom was able to block out all adversity. Big time trash talking here. The official is going to ring the bell, and we're underway. Oh, oh goodness. my goodness! The official's been laid out. I mean, it's blatantly obvious the superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down, and now anything truly can happen. Yeah, there's no official out here to keep the order. Can we get some help for our official? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Picture perfect drop kick. Yeah. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Jory European uppercut. There he goes, right into the corner. He had it scouted. Front face lock applied. Hoisted up. A rampage. Man, Frazier's focus got rattled there. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Tyler. Slim blade. And we know Nathan 
Frazier is all hot. Penny predicament. Two, close to a three count. You have to put in a little more work than that. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Frazier gets met with a response. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, the knee left. Oof. And this is just outrageous power. Into a German. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Big elbow. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Ooh. This could be it. Cover. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Amazing what this youngster Tyler Bate can do. And he's playing this very smart, cutting Frazier down even more to size. Single leg drop kick caught him. Standing shooting! That's incredible. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Wow, belly to belly. Oh, man. Picture perfect drop kick. And Frazier able to reverse that. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Stomping down. Uh-oh. He's able to sidestep there. Elbow puts an end to that. Suplex, very effective. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, not looking good at all. Oh, no, it's roll up. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Showing his determination there with that kick out. You know, what we're seeing in the ring is about so much more than just this match. That's right, for a while now, there's been some extremely bad blood stewing between these superstars. And now it's bubbling over before inside the ring. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Standing shooting star press, incredible. And there's Nathan dealing out even more damage. Bate can only consume this amount of pain for so long before succumbing to its effects. Tyler Bate in a state of distress. Bate has to find an opening and respond. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Our ringer applied. Top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. Now starts to fight out with some. Tyler B looking to lock it in. Billy. Go Agonizing goal, gotta find a way out, and they do. Bate with a kick to the gut, double under. Oh, Despite less than legal efforts to defeat them, they are standing tall now. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here.
The raiding party has arrived. Here comes destruction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds. The NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. What in the world? It's not of this world, Saxton. It's supernatural. The worst nightmares of the WWE Universe have just been realized. This isn't a horror movie you can just turn off. The terror is real. Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. And representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 200. In 97 pounds, Gunter! Imperium is steadfast in their belief that the ring is sacred, that it must be protected from those who aren't true wrestlers. They harshly judge anyone who would claim to be as good as them, and their noses couldn't be any higher in the air. Well, maybe some superstars deserve to be looked down on. Maybe not everyone is as good as Imperium. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a superiority complex there, Corey. And then there's whatever Imperium has going on.
as regimented as a military unit. Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. And we are about to witness a vicious exhibition of combat with the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. Odin's favorite sons raid and get paid is the order of the day for these two. Utter powerhouses with the motor and athleticism of men half their size. Plus, I hear ladies love Ivar. I've heard that as well, Corey, but let's just hope they stick to the raid part for this match and take it from there. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxon goes to those discount theme parks, just like he's a discount broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance. Ever. Driven down face first. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Gut buster! Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. And he sends him into the corner. Close line in the corner! Shoulders down! No, he kicks out. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Boom, right across the small of the back. The Fiend taking on some damage. An attack from the Viking Raiders that would make Odin proud. Saw it coming. The Express and the Piston Life right hands. The Express raining down right hands. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. In. Big double axe handle. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Ripcord, oh my goodness, nasty line. Look, just toying with their opponent right now, having fun at their expense. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. And Viking Raiders just got some of that berserker turned against them there. Right to the face. My God. Wait, wait. Gets the shoulder up. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Ripped in the hard way. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. He must have seen that coming. Strong suplex. Can he do it here? Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. No, sir. Good night. Cocaine a clutch. Nowhere to go, but there is a way to break it. From a seated position, this takes tremendous power. Suplex. Suplex. to do as much damage as possible. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. 
Oh, uh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh, Ooh. And now gets tossed into the ring. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Boom. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Placed into the corner. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Exploded into the... He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. A kick out at two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Eric. Oh, it's over. That's it. Gunther is out. Across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. And he slides him back to the mat. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, and a stop. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Extending their opponent's arm. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker. Setting up. Nice suplex. He is just reeling from that offense. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Wrestles up there, opponent, been driven down, Emerald Flungeon. Eyeball's in big, big trouble. He's in total disbelief, that did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. It is just unbelievable, and Guther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. DDT! These men have shown no indication of staying down. Their guts, their fire won't allow them to give up. Caught that with his face, and now the fiend Bray Wyatt is bleeding. Suplex! Uh oh. Fiend turns the table. Uh oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go. Got it. What a match, and what a great team. Here are your winners, the team of The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Gunther. The Viking Raiders falling on their swords in this match tonight. Not the result they wanted. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.
swagger on another level. Here comes Melo. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. You hear him say it. You hear the fans say it. Melo, don't miss. Yeah, for once I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Time for Melo to make that money. Oh, look who's here. Big evil. And his opponents first from Death Valley. Weighing in at 305 pounds. The Undertaker. Big evil is in NXT looking for a fight. That's a sight you never expected to see. There will be no mercy, no fear. When Big Evil sets his sights, he doesn't miss. And he has his sights set on the entire WWE locker room. Bray Wyatt has arrived, brimming with evil intent. You never know what you're going to get with Bray Wyatt. And from parts unknown, weighing in at 285 pounds, Wyatt has always been disturbing, but I think we can all agree this is a different kind of weird. Mind games, unpredictability, these are the hallmarks of Bray Wyatt's game. He's just turning it all up to 11 right now. I'm not sure I like it. No, I know I don't. Matches should be fought in the ring, man to man, not in some sort of bizarre metaphysical dreamscape. This all kind of seems like a waking nightmare. And I think Wyatt is setting exactly the kind of tone he wants.
three superstars stand ready for what should be a hectic triple threat match. Ready to get it on, we have Carmelo Hayes, Undertaker, and Bray Wyatt. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. Great way to completely disrupt the momentum and buy yourself some time. And Carmelo gets stifled. Big back body drop. Suplex brings it down. Oh, driving the elbow. Fujiwara armbar applied. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Oh my God! And Corey, a superstar's odds of winning in a triple threat match are significantly less than usual, correct? Well, my Steiner math's a little rusty, but that is my general understanding. Yes, you need to be fully aware of your surroundings to keep your chances up. Getting set up for something in the corner. Just blasting back with an elbow to the face. Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Took him out the knee. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Face buster plants him. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Mello's face. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? We've seen the sledgehammer many times. Before, and it has never been a pretty sight. Off into the pin. Two count. He narrowly avoids the count. Very close. The T clearly setting in. Undertaker is on the fringes here. Could be decent. Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. Will this match? And he breaks the hold. Whatever's playing here can't be good. <laughs> The floor. <laughs> Saw that coming. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Bray's feeling a sense of confidence here. Carmelo dodges in time. Drop kick. Devastating offense, and he 
you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. Boom. your opponent and he's enjoyed every minute of it. On oh, a stop. We're seeing an unbelievable performance. Hold on a second. It could be a matter of time. Submission. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Planning on what to do next. He decides. Jeez. into the ground. And this has got to be it! Breaks the close count. What a match. Oh, the elbow connects. Off the ropes. Uh-oh. Carmelo dodges that attack. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Really? He's going for the pad. This could be it! Breakup just in the nick of time. Oh, he got the clothesline. Good timing with that reversal. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Looking to end it here. This could be it. And he breaks up the pinfall. Placed in the corner now. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Turn it around to hit a DDT with authority. Oh, disturbing impact. Just bashing them with that hammer. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He kicks out at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there.
The dead man looking to finish this way up high. For the last ride, The Undertaker just ended this. Oh, I got it. Tied up and a headbutt from behind. Left by the turnbuckles. He steers clear of contact. Heading back to the ring. Dodges out of the way. And this might not have a pleasant ending. That's a shocking throat. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. Draped across the top rope. Ouch! This could be it! Cover for the win! Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And we can't overlook how devastating that DDT was. Oh my! And he goes into the ring. What? This is turning into Swanson Street. Did you expect anything less? Power from the suplex. Oh, Kendo stick right to the head. Oh. Off the ropes. Leg drop. Just punched him right in the middle. losing his grasp for this match now. The Undertaker cannot be stopped. Oh, man! Leg drop, arm breaker! Down with the leg drop. Short punch. Down to Odin. What a triple threat. Here is your winner, the Undertaker. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. A win like this sends a message. Send two superstars, send three, send four, heck, send a whole army. It's only going to be an uphill battle for the competition. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the end. Ilya Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. Hey, this dude's been called the Unstoppable Czar, a title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Uh, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov. Drew Gulak is a true student of the ring. He studied the history of this business, studied all of the all-time greats, and he's convinced all that homework gives him a leg up on any opponent. It's not just all that studying that makes Gulak dangerous. It's how viciously he applies it. Believe me, Drew Gulak is as cunning as they come. You're not wrong about that. If Gulak has done his homework correctly, he could be hard to top in this match. But one look into the eyes of Ilya Dragunov, and you see that he's more than ready for a challenge. There is a constant fire burning within Dragunov, a ferocity that he can barely contain. That comes out in full force when he's inside the ring. He's truly like a man possessed. From behind, back suplex. That'll turn your lights out. Gulak wants to fly. Taking flight. Oh, and Ilya turns the tables. Big clothesline. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Oh, saw it coming. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Evades their offense. Comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila. How in the world do you get out of this? I guess just like that. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Well, what's going to happen here? Far away slam with the bridge. A warning and a... Big time win tonight. Victory has got to taste sweet. Great show of respect from the WWE fans as well. Digging for something under the ring. Uh, uh, oh, how about a ladder, Byron? A ladder! Oh, come on now! Oh, oh. no! You gotta be kidding me! This is too far. Somebody please end this! Stop this! 
And, and now just continuing the assault. Oh, oh my goodness. Did you hear that? I felt that. I don't know what this proves.